Long before the time of Jesus' birth, the prophet Micah wrote, But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you will come a ruler, who will shepherd my people Israel. This is the biblical account of the birth of Jesus Christ as told through the Gospels of Matthew and Luke. Long ago, about 2,000 years, Joseph and Mary lived in the town of Nazareth and were pledged to be married. But before they were married, she was visited by an angel of the Lord. Greetings to you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a child, and you will call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will rule over the descendants of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. But, but how will this be? For I am a virgin. The Holy Spirit will come to you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. And the child that is born will be called the Son of God, for the Word of God will never fail. I am the Lord's servant. May your words to me be fulfilled. Mary became pregnant through the Holy Spirit as Joseph was unaware of Gabriel's visit to Mary, and because Joseph was faithful to the law and yet did not want to expose Mary to public disgrace, he had in mind to break off his engagement to her quietly. But after he considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream. Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, for what is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit, and the child to be born you will call Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet Isaiah. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. After Joseph took Mary home to be his wife, officials from the Roman Empire were sent to every town and village. Hear ye, hear ye! Caesar Augustus has issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. Everyone must go at once to their own town and villages to be registered. Joseph and Mary went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem also known as a town of David, because Joseph belonged to the house of the line of David. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, but there were no rooms available for them. I'm very sorry. We're totally booked up. There are absolutely no rooms left. I even have people sleeping on the floors and on my tables. But our time is near to give birth. Perhaps, if you don't mind the smell of animals, you can find shelter and rest in the animal stable next door. I will bring you what provisions I have. Mary gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger in a stable. There were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, 
keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. Do not be afraid, for I bring you good news of great joy for all people. I've heard about a baby boy who's come to earth to bring us joy, and I just want to sing this song to like this the fourth the fifth the minor fall the major lift with every breath i'm singing hallelujah 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 Today in the town of David, a child is born. He is Christ the Lord, and this will be a sign to you. You will find him wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men whom his favor rests. Rise and come. Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened that the Lord has told us about. Bethlehem in Judea during the time of King Herod. After his birth, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem. Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? The old Jewish prophet said this king was to be born in Judea. We have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. Once they had reached Bethlehem, the star they had seen went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. On coming to the stable, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down before him and worshipped him. Then they opened up their treasures and they presented him with gifts of gold, of frankincense, and of myrrh.
Love incarnate, love divine. Star and angels gave the sign. Bow to babe on bended knee. The Savior of humanity. Unto us a child is born, he shall reign My soul glorifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. His mercy extends to those who fear Him from generation to generation. The angel told Joseph this would take place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet Isaiah. Behold, the virgin will conceive and will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. For unto us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace there will be no end. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. <laughs> 